by demand. Uh, everybody wanted me to make a quick uh, how to install your Gala node version 3.1.2 onto uh, VPS. So we're going to run through that real quick. This one is going to be shorter because it, uh, it's a lot faster, easier uh, thing real quick. Quick uh, shout out, Spider Tank node. Spider Tank's about to launch. Look at this. If you own Spider Tank's node, if you own the Spider Tank node, you're getting 33%. Distro, all the distro, 33% is going to go to Spider Tank nodes for the day. And then look at this node queue or the node depot, I mean. The node depot, if you have something attached to your Spider Tank node, like a map or a tank or something like that, 20% is going to be distributed to the node depot. This is huge amounts of silk. So I'm surprised that there's only uh, barely 1,000 nodes almost uh, purchased of the Spider Tank. So if you're interested, Go ahead and click that link below. That'll take you right to the Spider Tank node. You can look at the cost, decide if you want to purchase it. I know the no, uh, link looks kind of weird. Uh, that's because it's, oh, it's a CJ affiliate link. If you click it, it's not a phishing thing. Look up at the website browser, what it says, app.gala.games. You know you're at Gala because that's the exact uh, HTML. So let's jump into our VPS install. All right, guys, so uh, first things first, uh, if you don't have PuTTY installed, um, you really need to uh, get that installed to run a virtual or VPS. Most of you have that. If you just type in PuTTY install, first thing that comes up, download PuTTY, putty.org, click there, download PuTTY, boom, there it is, 64-bit. Easy peasy, download, get PuTTY installed, okay? So then go to your node.gala.com, log in. Gonna go to download, gonna go to Linux, and go down to install the Gala Node software version 3 on Ubuntu, blah, blah, blah. Scroll down to procedure. So installing the Gala, the Gala Node software. So when it says open the term, terminal, this is our terminal, okay? So this is where we're going to be doing everything. So um, I uh, do Vulture because I am uh, used to Vulture. And so you see I already have some uh, nodes running here. So we're going to go ahead and make a new one. So for the current specs rex whatever it's going to be cloud compute you can leave amd it's fine whatever is the closest city for you scroll down and ubuntu is going to be 20.04 you're going to have to do the 60 gigs for the minimum this is all on vulture obviously just change this stuff on your other one disable auto backups that's a waste of money disable the enable ipv6 and then name it whatever you want so we're just going to name ours test vulture and i'll go ahead and deploy it so deploying, after this uh, starts to install, you're going to have to wait multiple minutes uh, before you're going to be able to uh, click in here. I'm talking like three to five minutes at least uh, before this is ready to uh, play. So uh, we will pause for a moment here. So we waited about uh, three, four minutes here. So it should be good to go. So we've got your putty up. You're going to go ahead and click into your server that you got going here. If I can. I'm going to copy your IP address. I usually have Putty on the other page because it's easier to do this back and forth, but if you guys want to see everything, click open. <clears throat> that means it is connected. Log in. It's going to be root. You're going to go ahead and click the copy button for your password. You don't even have to see it. Now you're going to go right to the box, right click once. That's it. Just once, click enter. You won't see the password show up. Okay. So we're in. Go back to here. We're now connected to our uh, server. So this is our opened whatever. Now you're literally just going to be copying and pasting the entire time. But I'm going to walk you through it because people keep seeming, seeming to mess up. So you literally just right click and it'll paste it in there. You click enter. Go to the next thing. Just the bold. Copy. Go back to putty. Right click in the green. Click enter. Scroll down. We're going to go to the next thing. Don't even care what it's saying or what it's doing because I'm not an IT guy. So who cares? I don't need to read this. Progress. Who cares? So you're just going to wait until this loads up. It's uh, loading in Docker right now onto your VPS. Um, I know there's other VPSs that are cheaper and stuff, but this is just what I know, and I just use this temporarily because I usually try to run stuff on my computer. So you click that. Now they say to press Q, so press Q. Now going on to the next step. Copy. Make sure you're copying it exactly as it shows, okay? Some people already have been having issues not getting that exact copy. Okay. This part, make sure you copy all the way. Pseudo WGET. If you do these steps exactly, you will have no issues at all. Look how easy this is. 
highlight, copy, right click, paste. Now there was uh, a couple things that the Gallup team needs to update here at the time of my making of this video. One is this, you need to click Y to accept the end user agreement after this. Maybe it actually says it here. No, I don't see it. And yeah, so, so they don't have that there. I'm gonna copy this, copy, go here. You're gonna paste, click space, go back to your Gala node, go to your API keys. I'm gonna create one, call it Volker test. Create, copy it, go back to your putty, and then just right click. There has to be a space in between there. And then click enter, boom. Your API key is now in there. So now you go to the next part. Copy, paste. How be boring is this, guys? You guys want you guys wanted a video though, so I'm doing it for you. Okay. Copy. Now somebody else brought this up. Space. Down here it says players. That is not correct. It is player. You can see in the text or the picture here. Player. Player. There's no S on there, so don't mess it up. Okay. So you're gonna type whatever you have. Founders comma or space sorry no comma space player space spider tanks space film we got that yep film enter now yet you put in whatever you guys have obviously if you have town star put in the town star one as well copy this next one's gonna start up our node here boop it's doing all that fun stuff scroll down see i don't even care you don't even need to watch it you just go to the next one Copy what you're going to need. This is just node status. So at this point, you're actually done. This is just you kind of confirming that, yeah, it's working. If you do it early, it's just going to say node is starting. If you wait, you know, three, four, five minutes, whatever, and you uh, click the node status in here again, it'll, it'll show you this nice little picture here. Okay? So that's literally all you have to do. You are done. You can close this out. You can go back to your Gala node here, dashboard. Go to the dashboard and then it will show up here and you just have to wait about uh, three to five minutes. So uh, let's wait. Hey guys, so this was staying red for like almost like uh, seven minutes or so. Now, of course, it's saying green. I say now, of course, because uh, it was red for so long that I went ahead and went back to putty. Log back in. I'm putty here. It says that there was a, you know, you have not rebooted after updating a package, which requires a reboot. So I tried to reboot from here, uh, it gave me an error, so I said whatever, and I went to uh, my server here and just clicked server restart and let it restart. So I'm letting that restart right now. I'm gonna see how that affects everything and uh, uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, well, I'm glad I, I ran into that issue that was like red and stuck on like one minute and did that kind of weird thing. So after I uh, restarted the server on uh, Vulture there that I showed you, um, it's now uh, now green, about 15 minutes now. Once again, I just did server restart. Um, so you could always try something simple like that if your node's not working. So now it's all up, it's functioning, and uh, you're good to go. <laughs> so that's how you install on uh, Vulture. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, go ahead and like and uh, subscribe. And I'll be coming out with some more, uh, hopefully, uh, more fun videos, okay? So everybody, Wookiees, stay warm as always.